Now, we must all fear evil men. But there is another kind of evil which we must fear most. And that is the indifference of good men. I do believe the Messenius finally got the point. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on my video. I'd like to thank Nate from Minnesota, USA and Francisco from Spain for hooking me up with this gun. I really appreciate it and I'm sure all you guys are going to appreciate seeing this bad boy. Very unique gun and I'm just going to say it. If you're thinking of buying an FX Impact but you don't want to spend like 2200 bucks, check this out. This gun has a lot of stuff that even the Impact doesn't do. Basically, RTI Arms makes one gun. Two, three years ago, they came out with the Priest, and now the Priest 2. So the Priest 2 is the result of RTI listening to their customers and making a bunch of improvements. Now, some of these improvements were available on the last version of the Priest, but here's what's new and improved on the Priest 2. They basically took the Priest 1, released it, got some feedback from customers, and a little more R&D on their part, perfected the gun, and here's the Priest 2. So it's got a fully redesigned trigger. Now the first trigger was awesome, but apparently the new trigger is extremely good. There's no bullpup syndrome where you have a little bit of play in the trigger. None of that going on. The trigger has been described as perfection. It's a two-stage trigger, fully adjustable of course. It breaks at about 150 grams or 7 ounces right now. And if you want to get the max accuracy out of your gun, especially for target shooters, a good trigger is crucial. To adjust the trigger, there's two screw holes on the outside of the body. You have access to the trigger adjustment from the outside of the gun. The rear screw is going to adjust the weight of the second stage and the front screw is going to adjust the length of pull on the second stage. Now you can also adjust the first stage. You just take off the side plate and put the rod in the position you want it, tighten it back up with that screw in the front right there. Now having a trigger that's too light can be dangerous, like if the second stage is too short. A lot of PCPs have that these days. This trigger is actually safe in any position. So one of the other new things is you can lock open the bolt now. So if you got the bolt locked open, there's no way that you can like bump your trigger and bump the gun and it accidentally goes off. It'll only go off if you pull that trigger and your probe will come forward like that. So the new locking bolt is actually safer, that's awesome. You can also degas the rifle anytime. So the Priest 2 has a brand new regulator that was, it's a dual regulator. It was designed from the ground up. It's externally adjustable. One of the advantages of this new regulator is that you can adjust it without having to empty the air out of the tank. So that's nice. So it's got two nanometers on it. One's going to show the regulator pressure where it's set at. And one's going to show the pressure in your tank. So it comes set at 125 pounds. It's adjustable all the way down to 50 bar. From 50 bar to 200 bar adjustable. They recommend 180 is about the maximum where you're not going to get any extra power if you go past 180. So basically maxes out at 180. But if you're at 180, you're going to push a 22 caliber pellet, 70 joules. That's 50 foot pounds. So that's pretty good. So if you can adjust that regulator and you can adjust your hammer spring tension in the back, which I'm going to get to in a second, that's all the adjustment you'll ever need. You'll really be able to dial your gun in for different pellet speeds. This new regulator is also shorter, so if you get some of the new upgrades we're going to talk about, you can put a carbon fiber bottle on there and it won't stick out past the barrel. By the way, they are going to offer this new regulator in a universal version that you can use on any gun, so that's cool. All right, going on with improvements on the Priest 2. There's an added guide for the hammer spring inside the gun. It's got the locking charging handle. It has a complete redesign of the magazine, although it looks and fits the same. 
they basically moved the cut in the magazine to the left side so that right-handed shooters, if your cheek rests against the magazine right there, if you look at an old magazine, you'll notice that it has a hole in it still when you've shot the last round. This new magazine has sort of a stopper there, so there's no hole, and that'll keep your bolt open when you did your last shot. They also chamfered the front of the magazine where you put the pellet in so you can load the pellet real easily, you know, with no tools. You just push it in there with your finger and spin it forward. It'll be perfect. Inside the magazine, they added three O-rings so your pellets stay in place real firmly. On the Priest II, it's easier to replace the pellet probe, so now the hole is in a slightly different spot and you can lock your bolt down, so you lock the pellet probe back. You can loosen your screw, pull out the pellet probe, replace it for a different caliber, and you're set. So we're gonna get to the barrel in a second, but this gun has the ability to shoot over 100 yards. Very good. MOA groups at 100 yards and farther. If any of you don't know what that means, it means a one inch group at 100 yards is MOA. So with all that power, you need a scope rail that's slightly declined so you can shoot those longer distances. The Priest II comes with a 20 MOA rail for long range shooting, so that's cool. Basically declined 20 MOA. All right guys, those were just my notes of what I picked up after studying up on the Priest for a couple days, watching YouTube videos and all that. So now let's go over what RTI Arms has to say about the Priest II. Research and development. The Priest was carefully designed. The results were carefully measured and estimated we designed special equipment for measurements which helped us achieve the best results possible. One of the most exciting things, the Priest is available in multiple calibers. All you gotta do is change out your barrel and pellet probe and you're set. Available in 177, 22 caliber, 25 caliber, 30 caliber, and with an arrow barrel for hunting big game. The retail price on the standard is 999 euros, so Price may differ slightly in the U.S., but I'll tell you where to pick it up and all that in a little bit here. The Priest II is compact and light. When designing the rifle, we had compactness and lightness in mind. The Priest measures 710 millimeters in length and weighs only 3 kilograms with the bottle and 2 kilograms without it. Because of the smart design, the bottle can be carried on your waist connected to a very flexible high-pressure hose to the rifle. It also has one of the lowest profiles meaning the distance from the rail to the bottom of the grip. Straight pull cocking. The cocking handle allows you to quickly cock the rifle because of the smartly designed and positioned cocking mechanism, which is on the left side of the rifle. This enables you to never remove your finger from the trigger. That sounds good. Straight pull speeds up your cocking action because all you need to do is pull the handle straight back and return it to its original position. High capacity bottle with regulator. The Priest II comes with a 320cc buddy bottle, which has a working pressure of 300 bar. On the top of it, there's a pressure regulator, which is by default set at 125 bar. Like I said before though, it's adjustable from 50 bar all the way up to 200. This combination allows you to make a high number of consistent shots. The Priest II is available in Cerakote tan or hard anodized black. CZ Barrels. The Priest is equipped with a 20-inch choked cold forged barrel made by famous CZ company in the Czech Republic. So definitely some of the most accurate barrels around. Externally adjustable pressure regulator. To satisfy the most advanced shooters, we develop a new pressure regulator for the Priest series, which allows the shooter to adjust pressure externally without having to empty the tank. Pressure can be regulated from 50 bar to 200 bar. It can be bought as an addition and can be fitted on all the priests, old or new, and other rifles with the same thread. Extended stock with adjustable hammer spring screw. Externally adjustable pressure regulator works best with the extended stock, which allows the shooter to adjust the hammer spring tension to the desired setting so optimal performance can be achieved. The stock can be fitted on all versions of the priest. 20 MOA angled Picatinny rail. Due to the high accuracy, long range shooting isn't a problem with the Priest II. In order to be able to use your scope so far out, we developed a Picatinny rail with a 20 MOA drop and it's available as an addition. Another addition you can get is a 0.5 liter carbon fiber bottle, which is 200 grams lighter. In order to get an even lighter and better balanced rifle with more shots per fill, we're offering the carbon fiber bottle as an addition. The carbon fiber bottle's volume is 0.5 liters, whereas the volume of the aluminum bottle is 0.35 liters. 
So you can expect 40% more shots per fill. Sounds good. 5.5 22 caliber long range pellet barrel. Standard air gun barrels were never meant for shooting at high velocities over 300 meters per second at extreme long ranges over 100 meters. This is why we developed a custom Lothar Walther air gun barrel for long range pellet shooting. The barrel is capable of shooting JSB monsters redesigned, 25 grains, at 320 meters per second at 100 meters without losing the stability of the projectile. The barrel is available as an addition. Wow, that sounds super cool. So you could have your CZ barrel, standard barrel for shooting slugs at 100 yards sub MOA, slap on this 22 caliber, and now you're shooting 25 grain monster 22 pellets at 111 yards. I'm liking that. Interchangeable calibers. No matter in which caliber you purchase the rifle, all you need to do to change the caliber is to buy a new caliber kit which contains a barrel, pellet probe, and shroud cap, which are all necessary parts to do the transformation, and you will need a barrel exchange tool. Ambidextrous magazine. Since the magazine is not centered, it can be inserted from both directions. So even if you're a lefty or a righty, the magazine is not in your way. Threaded muzzle, and this is something that's kind of important to me. For those who want even quieter rifle, there is a one half UNF thread under the cap so the moderator can be mounted. The one half UNF is a standard air gun thread. I'm always glad when they have a rifle that comes with it. Adjustable trigger. First and second stage of the trigger can easily be adjusted down to 200 grams. Has two Picatinny and two dovetail rails. The rifle is equipped with a 170 millimeter of Picatinny rail so you can fit whichever optics you prefer. Another Picatinny is located on the bottom of the front of the body which can be used for any number of accessories such as a bipod. There are also two dovetails rails located on the side and front of the body. Awesome. Shooting arrows. For those who want to hunt bigger game, barrel for arrows is also available. That's cool. Power. In standard setup, the priest achieves consistently 45 joules in 5.5 millimeter, which is 22 caliber, throughout its whole bottle capacity, which yields out more than 110 shots. So you got 110 shots looking pretty much straight across the board there. Here's another awesome feature, no bounce. A lot of time was spent to achieve a perfect harmony of elements working together, which at the end results as a system without hammer bounce and perfect valve closing time. The valve which closes before the pellet leaves the barrel makes the rifle extremely efficient. Just check out this chart. And if you check out their website, which you can find by typing RTI Priest 2 into Google, you'll find an exploded view of the rifle with all the parts. If you want to see how your rifle works or order a part, you're all set. Looks like the rifle is made up of about 63 parts. Here's some technical information. In 177 caliber, we're looking at 24 joules of force. Now I'll put the foot pounds on the screen here. 22 caliber, 45 joules. 25 caliber, 60 joules. And in 30 caliber, 90 joules. The tank's air capacity is 300 bar filled. It's got a removable aluminum bottle. And that is one of the coolest parts we're going to get to in a second here is the bottle comes off. Magazine capacity in 177 caliber holds 14 rounds, 12 rounds in 22, 10 rounds in 25 caliber, and 7 rounds in 30 caliber. So the magazine will hold pellets up to 12 millimeters in length. If you're using the single shot tray, you can use ammo up to 16 millimeters. Shots per fill in 22 and 177 caliber, 110. In 25 and 30 caliber, you're looking at around 40 shots per fill. Straight pull cocking system. You can use standard AR-15 grips on here, so you can put any grip you want on there. So everything but the 30 caliber is going to have a 20 inch CZ barrel, 17.7 twist rate, and choked. The 177 caliber and 22 is going to have 12 grooves at the 17.7 twist rate. The 25 caliber is going to have 10 grooves at that same 17.7 twist rate. And the 30 caliber priest barrel is a 20 inch Lothar Walther with six grooves at a 16 twist rate. 
and the arrow barrel fires these size arrows. Total length of this gun is 710 millimeters. Total height is 157 millimeters. It's only 35 millimeters wide. The bottle diameter is 61 millimeters. It has a 1 8 foster fitting quick disconnect to fill the gun so you don't have to worry about a fill probe. Awesome. And that's about it on the website. Heck, I'm sold already. All right, you guys, this clip right here is actually from after I just finished the chronograph testing. Check this out. Well, you guys, honestly, I have never seen a gun do that. I just shot this thing. Must have been over 100 shots. Couldn't get it to go below line 930. Hung out there about 940, between 940 and 930 for over 100 shots from 300 bar to what you see right there. Wow. So right here, I'm going to show you guys in fast motion my chronograph numbers, and then I'll type them out at the end here. Basically, I got 112 shots, and they were very, very consistent. I kept waiting for the air pressure to drop off, and the velocity to drop off. It just never did. I thought I was going to go through my whole 10 of pellets, 112 shots between about 930 feet per second and about 950, with most of those being right in the middle, a lot of duplicate shots. Very nice. Can't wait to shoot this thing. So while these shot strings are finishing up here, I wanted to tell you a couple other things. Whenever you get a brand new air gun, you always need to clean the barrel. You never want to clean an air gun with a metal cleaning rod. Go ahead and grab yourself a flexible cleaning rod. This one's called a JL Crown Saver, and there's a link in the description down below where you can buy it. It's a pull-through system, and it won't damage the front of your barrel, which is called the crown. Wow. At least I know I won't have to reload my air during the accuracy portion of this video. That'll be nice. All right, you guys, I used my air compressor to get it all the way up to 300 bar. Now we're going to check out the speeds of different pellets from 13 to 25 grains. All right, so there's some different speeds of all our favorite pellets. And of course, you would be able to tune the gun's velocity up and down to adjust those speeds a little bit for the best accuracy. All right, you guys, I got my target out there at 35 yards. Got my trusty priest right here. Now, I was shooting the other day. By the way, we're going to be using some JSP pellets today, gonna to start with 18 grain right here. As you can see, there's no wind, that's good. I was sighting in the priest the other day off camera and I was getting these ragged hole five shot groups. So let's finish this card out and I'll go ahead and put some fresh bullseyes in there. We'll do an accuracy test. For this 35 yard accuracy testing, we're gonna be using the JSB 18 grain 22 caliber pellets. I'm just going to pick up where I left off, somewhere around 200 bar. Now 
My finger slipped on the trigger that time. All right, you guys, we're back at 300 bar. I'm just going to bleed a couple shots off. All right, I think we're good. That one that was low was when I tried to shoot fast without slowing down. I think we're ready for some shooting seas. Alright, you guys can see the wind right there because of my little whatever you call that. So here we go. This shouldn't be hard to hit these bullseyes. Five shot groups in each one. Here we go. Starting at 300 bar. That was the same hole and I couldn't even see the bullseye at all. Wow, that was five through like four of them were through the actual same hole. All right, you guys, I'm going to click over a teeny bit. Oh, damn. I thought that was going to be five through the actual same hole, but I probably got in a hurry on that last one. All right. All right. All right, guys, that's where it brought me down from 300 bar. That was 50 shots. As you can see, we're still hitting the bullseye. What did you think of that shooting, bugaboo? Freaking bad ass! I agree. Was there even one of these groups where every single pellet isn't touching? I don't think so. Look at this one. Five shots right there. Wow. So that was 35 yards, you guys. Those are dime size uh, targets right there. Let's scoot on over to 50. Shooting this 50 yard accuracy test with 18 grain JSBs. I'm at 300 bar. We got some mild wind, nothing too crazy. You doing good, Bugaboo? Hell yeah! And there's my wind flag right there. So while I'm shooting these groups right here, I am clicking around between groups. I never. I'm never adjusting the crosshairs in the middle of a five shot group, but in between 
moving from bullseye to bullseye, I was clicking left and right and trying to adjust it. So that's why you'll see the point of impact change a little bit on the bullseye, but you'll see the groups stay nice and tight. It might be time for some shooting seas. All right, you guys, just in case I shoot this group accidentally, check that out. Five shots at 50 yards. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, I'm back up at 300 bar. I did a bullet impact one click up. My scope cam just decided to blur out right here, but I gotta say, guys, this is probably the most accurate gun I've shot so far. My crown did similar to this, but this one just shoots right where you point it. So, so reliable. You saw what we just did, putting them through the same hole at 50 yards. Ragged hole groups at 50 yards. Me likey. All right, guys, it's a new day. We got mild to zero wind. I'm going to do some 75 yard shooting. Close enough. All right, let's see where we hit. We're using 18 grain JSBs. Mm, I can't tell. Oh, okay. I'm using some bent pellets here, so... <laughs> that pellet was bent. Wow. I think I might be sighted in. 
see how many shots it takes us to do that on all these bullseyes. Pretty close. Look at that grouping, you guys, at 75 yards. It's like a nickel or a dime. Hmm. I'm going to air back up. I'm on about 200 bar right now. I was actually starting about 290, so, because my tank was getting a little low. Hmm. That one hit. Well, most of them are over there, so I'm thinking... I thought I was sighted in. Well, that should be good enough to hit some of these guys. Let's see what we can do. Darn, my camera's right in my way. Wow, so it's a nail in these uh, inch and a half spinners. Let's did three in a row. Good stuff right there. Let's see if I can get a couple of these guys. Wow, this thing is not going to miss an inch and a half spinner at 75 yards. It's not going to do it. And I'll prove it. Watch this. Every time. like we cleaned the paint off those things pretty good too doing okay there buddy yeah I'm doing fine can you shoot me some more all right you guys we got some good stuff we got Ralphie right here Ralphie the ceramic Christmas ornament that little guy some shoot and see right here to sight me in. Let's see what the presets to say about shooting at 100 yards. All right, first we'll just see, try to see where we're hitting here. I'm clicking all over the place, you guys, so. I think we're sighted in. 
see that, you guys? That's part of that dude's hair. Ugh, I was afraid that would happen. Darn it. Freaking nailed that dude right in the head. I, I nailed that dude in the head from a hundred yards. Wow. Freaking awesome. Alright, Ralphie, Merry Christmas. Oh, darn it. I gotta go back down there and set this up again. You okay, buddy? I think he's okay. This guy, I'm not too sure about. All right, you guys. Where do you get one of these bad boys? Basically, in the U.S., there's only one place to get it, and that's Air Guns of Arizona. Go ahead and check them out. Final thoughts on the Priest. I mean, heck, it's the most accurate gun I've ever shot, so it... Easier to shoot than my crown was, and... It, really hits those bullseyes. I like it so much I think I'm going to sell my Uragan and use the money to get the premium edition of this. Now if you're smart you want to get the premium edition because it's just a couple hundred dollars more, $14.95 right now, and you get three different upgrades. You get the 20 MOA rail, the hopped up regulator with two nanometers on it, the extendable buttstock so you can adjust your velocity, and the carbon fiber tank. So definitely you want to grab that premium version. Now at first I was a little bummed that I didn't get the premium version to review, but then now I'm glad I reviewed the standard because look how awesome it was. If the standard shoots this great out of the box, just imagine what the premium is going to do. Plus you can tune it. So definitely this is an awesome gun. I can't wait to add one to my collection. All right, so this has been my review of the RTI Arms Priest 2. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a Merry Christmas. We'll catch you on the next one.